The weather's a little crummy to, to go out and paint today, so I'm just going to get everything prepped up and ready. I did get the little spot on this where that ding was. It was a ding outward, and I pounded it back in, and then I had a couple peck marks that I put in there. But anyway, I'm going to wipe this down with some wax and grease remover and figure out how I'm going to hang it so I can uh, paint it. I'm going to think that would be the easiest way. I'm going to hang it kind of the way it sits in the car maybe and uh, see what I can do to get it suspended. But painting may have to wait until another day when it's not uh, crummy out. I don't know if the fine snow shows up or not, but it is snowing out a little bit. You can see the ground's damp. So if the weather isn't better by tomorrow, I'll just back the truck out and drag some plastic over the galaxy and just paint it right here. I'll have to cover a few things up. I'm just going to use spray cans so there isn't a huge amount of overspray, but there will be enough to where I will cover some things up in here. This is how I'm hanging it. Just twist some coat hanger through a couple holes there. It's just from the light fixture screw right now, which is actually screwed into a 2x4, so it's it's not going anywhere. And this isn't very heavy, um, maybe 5 pounds, 8 pounds. Um, I'm going to wipe it all down with some uh, wax and grease remover, and maybe, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything more other than that until... Uh, spray booth stop snowing in my spray booth but i can get it ready wipe down and uh if if it doesn't uh stop i'll just back the truck out it's all wiped down and ready for paint yeah it looks really good i'm going to uh clean up the galaxy so I can drag some uh, plastic over it without scratching the paint. It's getting a little late to start painting so I'm gonna do that tomorrow but I, uh, I did get my fan out of the attic and my plastic so I cleaned up the dusted all the galaxy off so it doesn't have any nice and smooth and clean completely bumper to bumper the sides convertible top everything. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to drag the plastic over it to, so I don't get overspray on it. Everything else in here I'm just using spray bombs. And I'm going to put my fan in the window over there and hang this from that far end of that light fixture. And these I'll just, you know, the the doors and stuff. And I, I'm just going to stand there by the fan and just uh, paint the stuff with um, this. I got, I bought a case of this stuff because I can go to the paint store and buy this and it's a lot more expensive to buy it at the paint store than if I buy a case of it online. You can go to Amazon or it's a lot of places you can get this stuff, but I get it, um, I think Amazon and I bought a case of six cans of it. And it works out to almost half the cost of the paint store, even if you buy a case from them. So there's still got four cans left because I uh, <clears throat> I use it. And then I got a lot. And then I got, still have four cans of filler. Buy this by the case too when I'm doing project cars. That's good to have around, you know, when you need to do little spot things. And of course, I this is my favorite primer. And I <clears throat> bought a case of this, and I also bought a quart of it for the spray gun. That's what I'm going to paint with when I get ready to do it. But my fan, that thing's been so abused with painting and stuff. And when you turn it on, if you haven't been using it, it takes forever to get going. So I'm going to see if it will turn on. And if it doesn't, I'm going to have to take it apart and oil the motor or something and uh yeah it's just barely gone that's switched to high <laughs> it's just a draft coming out of it all right well anyway that's 
for, I'll let it go for a few minutes, and if it gets going, it'll work fine tomorrow. If it doesn't, I'll oil the motor. I've oil it seems like oil it every time I use it though. But anyway, uh, next we'll be painting this dashboard. And I finally moved it over here, and it probably sat there for a good five minutes before it came up to speed. But it is gone now, so that'll work to exhaust out the paint. By the way, there is numbers on this dashboard if anyone's interested. It is 4, and then a space, 2, 7, and then a space and 3B. And that would be below the steering column, between the, you know, the steering column bolts right here. What I'm doing now is cleaning all this stuff up, and I just got a rag, and I'm just wiping everything down with lacquer thinner and just going to try and get the dirt off everything. There's some foam tape for the defrost duck. I can clearly see where it was, so I will redo that. And uh, this is where the under dash AC unit caused that damage. So, I mean, I'm not going to change this. It'd be a lot of work to take all that out. And uh, it comes out from under the hood. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to neaten up th that so it isn't just all jagged and and I'll probably have to paint this, and I'll use the trim black if I do, just to neaten it up. But I'm going to clean it up, and we'll see how it looks when I'm done cleaning it up. That cleaned up uh, fairly good. I kind of rounded out that hole, and I think it'll be fine. I'm not going to worry about it. That's not going to, you know, most of the heat comes out of this hole, and some out of that some out of that and some out of that but i think majority comes out of that hole and this is that's off and you can can you see that little pointer there so that is heat and i believe you line that up when you line up the lever that says heat on the dash control and uh that's when most of it blows out there i don't know if can you see the blender door in there let me let me see if I can hold everything. That's heat, and when it's up, it closes the vent off, and then it puts it all out the top. It's back to heat, and then that's off, which just basically shuts the airflow off coming into the car. I'm curious if I need to clean that, so we're going to see together how that looks down in there. I don't know. I can't tell what the light's shining on, but... I'll probably try and get in there and clean some of that up and turn it the other way. That's for defrost there. That way I can just see in there, make sure there's no animal nests or anything, you know? You never know. Sometimes they're tucked away where you can't see them, and this car did sit parked for 44 years. I cleaned and painted this up, too. I just... Uh, mass this part around here and threw it in the bead blast cabinet and just gave it a quickie and a shot of that gold paint that same paint i used on the oil filter this is the next day i got the uh plastic dragged over the galaxy all the way around so it won't uh get any overspray on it it's to the floor yeah that'll do the job i just don't want to get any overspray on it and uh, that's what I use the stuff right here. Um, I don't see a number on it, but I get it at the paint store. It was like $40 or something for that box. It covers a lot of cars. But anyway, I'm going to get some uh, metal etching primer on the bare metal, let it dry a couple hours, and I'll start putting the paint on. Seeing the whole back of the dashboard needs priming, and a fair amount of the front, not all of it, but... A lot needs to be priming. I like to save my little spray bombs for uh, small things. So I think I'm going to use the this with my uh, door jam gun here. And uh, just spray those, those uh, the primer with that. Just to, just to save on my spray bombs. It's cheaper to buy it in the court than the spray bombs. And it's cheaper to buy these by the case on Amazon than at the paint store. But these... This is the best deal right here. So I'm going to, and it's exactly the same, same stuff. So let me uh, get to putting it on. Another thing I want to touch on, I know a lot of my viewers watch Scott at Cold War Motors, and a lot of you have watched that Fury restoration. 
And I don't know if you remember watching them drag that out of that cow pasture, the condition that car was in, and watched them make one car out of three. But Iowa Classic Cars Ryan over there bought an Impala convertible that made that 60 Fury look like it was drivable show car when he dragged it out of that cornfield or that cow pasture, I mean. And uh, he sold the car to this guy that's restoring it. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description. That guy has to have talent to restore that Impala convertible. That thing is just so, so far gone. I've parted out cars that are way better than what this car is. So, yeah, it's nice to see someone saving it and talk about talent. The guy should make YouTube videos on restoring it. They would go nuts. Yeah, they're... they're it's it's a rough car that this guy is putting together. You just have to check the video. I'll link in the description. It's been drying for about an hour and a half now, and it looks pretty darn good. I think uh, I'll let it dry about another half an hour, and we'll start shooting some paint on it. That's the speaker mount. And blast off the ashtray. It all came out pretty good. It's dry to the touch. It's been drying for about an hour. I'm going to let it dry a couple of days and I'm going to start putting them together. In the meantime, I can start uh, pulling the steering column. I need to get some of this or something equivalent to it. I might get carpet back padding or something, but I definitely want to glue insulation back up in here where it used to be and in the car where it used to be. You can see the see the paint dust. It's a, it's all dry that that goes that primer comes out of the gun and is dry almost immediately. So it just turns the dust and that black those spray cans you know they're dry pretty much well by the time they float over here. But I wanted to, you know, cover the car. I had to put boxes to keep it from blowing up. And, uh, but yeah, that'll keep, that kept the car clean. I think I'm gonna get that off and uh, pull a truck back in. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to warm the car up a little bit. You know, I just don't like taking them and moving them and putting them, you know, that's it. So I drove over to check on the Chevy. I had the truck out, but I forgot to stop by here, so I just came back over. 
I just wanted to warm the truck up, but I wanted to make sure all the tires still had air in them, and, and uh, which they do. And no mice are in or anything, which I don't see any traces. My mouse poisons aren't touched, either one of them. So everything's all good. Car's sitting here waiting for spring. There we go, all, all covered back up. Lock it up and head home. Edit up a video for you guys. Well, I'm totally, completely happy with how the dash turned out. That where that dent was for the filler, that you can't even see anything there. So it came out really nice. And like I say, you know, that trim goes on a lot of this. The instrument cluster goes in here. The padded dash comes down to here. So really, this is the important stuff right here is the glove box and the ashtray and they came out nice this looks really nice you know what you can see you'll see maybe a little bit here a little bit here I don't think you'll see anything here unless the glove box or ashtrays and this little bit if you really look so yeah there isn't a lot you know after the pads on and instrument cluster and trim and everything not a lot more visible so, yeah, I'm happy. Looks good. I'm going to call it a day. Definitely, if you like the video, hit the like button. It certainly helps share the video if you want to. If you want to see that dash all back together and in the galaxy, subscribe to my channel by hitting that 348 engine icon that pops up there. And thank you for watching my videos.